I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Steal an Election. I mean, How to Paint Like a Tyrant. In this episode, nobody's safe. We're going after the left, and we're going after the right. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure all of you are going to hate me after this. So let's get started. I want to give a real quick shout out to our show sponsors. And if you're a friend of the Second Amendment, make sure you check these guys out. They're pro 2A. So if you're a Democrat, you're probably more inclined with using a big pink rubber dildo for self-defense. Or maybe just to save space because people like me hurt your feelings. With Big Daddy Unlimited, a monthly subscription gets you access to amazing things from ammunition to gear to guns. Easy Democrats, I know that scared you. It'll be okay. So make sure you check them out. They have amazing customer service and the best deals on the internet that you'll ever find. Make sure you hit the link down below. Give it a little clicky clicky. And make sure you show them some love because they're showing us some love. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my handy dandy producer run those colors across the screen there. We're gonna start off with tyrannical blue. This one's gonna hurt a lot. We're gonna have COVID purple and BLM black. I'm so getting banned for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up this COVID purple. There's just so much COVID. We're gonna be using our two inch phallic brush and we're gonna apply some, some purple all over the top part of this canvas. We're just gonna spread that COVID everywhere. It's just all over the place and it's killing us in record numbers, even though the stats don't say that. And even though the CDC can't get their head out of their ass and they don't seem to know what the hell is going on, but you know, we should by all means close the entire country, ruin millions of lives and small businesses, all because the perception that the MSM wants us to think that we're all gonna die of COVID. Oops, I seem to have got a little of the COVID on me. But look at that, I'm okay. I mean, I, I kinda had a 99% chance of surviving it, but hey, let's close the entire country, let's bankrupt millions of American businesses, and let's fear monger all because of that 1% that consists of, well, mainly Democrats. Congratulations, you're stupid. So we just gotta make sure we enforce these COVID curfews in these tyrannical blue states. You know, you can't be out there after, after 10 p.m. because that's when the COVID comes out. And it's gangs and carrying its little COVID guns and burning down buildings and trashing businesses. Oh, my bad. That was during the BLM protests. Governors didn't seem to care then, but now they care. Weird. So we're gonna use some of this tyrannical blue we're not gonna clean our brush because we still have some of that COVID purple, but tyrannical blue and COVID purple kind of go hand in hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this. Oh yeah, you gotta love those, those blue lives that for the last four years were attacked by the left and the BLM and all these other people, but those individuals out there enforcing these unconstitutional, non-legislative past laws that wear a badge, oh suddenly you turn on the very same people that supported you because you're traitors to the badge and you don't even seem to understand what the constitution means and by the way you're not just doing your job you're ruining lives you're sellouts and you don't have my support meaning those that actually enforce these unconstitutional laws for those doing the right thing thank you for those not you're the same as british loyalists you're not just doing your job you're infringing on the rights of other people and enforcing these things from tyrants. You're just as guilty. And don't sit there and tell me that you have no other choice. There is no gun to your head. You can quit and walk away. Just like the businesses that you're helping close and shut down and those that are going into unemployment and ruining their careers and everything that they have worked hard to build from the ground up, working tirelessly, you are also at fault. Again, you're traitors to the badge and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Wow, I'm looking down at those numbers on my YouTube subscriptions. Boy, they are a-dropping. And while we're talking about gun legislation and two-way rights, another shout out to Big Daddy Unlimited. Thank you for sponsoring this episode and for selling high quality ammunition and pew pews and woo woos and all kinds of tactical stuff. You guys are amazing. All right. So for our final color, we're gonna use BLM Black. Well, the BLM posted on their Instagram that it's been 32 days and 
they still haven't gotten a meeting with Biden and Kamala. Well, that's because they don't care about you. You got played. You were manipulated in another political game where minorities became the chess pieces. Democrats lied to you. They offered you change and promised you all these things. And as soon as they got the vote or they think they won the election, man, they walked out on you so quick. I mean, explain something to me. How does Biden, who was accused by Kamala Harris as being a racist during the debates, turn around and pick her to be his VP? And why would Kamala accept such a nomination if he is indeed a racist? Would you want to work with a racist? Explain that to me. Because I don't seem to understand. Because I must just be white and stupid. <laughs> so we're just going to mix up our BLM black and let's go ahead and apply it to our painting. There we go. We're just slapping it on there. Slathering all that BLM black. Oh, that's right. It's not there because they don't care about you. You've served your purpose. You're a Marxist organization that wants black privilege, not equality. I mean, after all, how many times we've warned you, stop being manipulated and controlled based upon your skin color and start thinking for yourselves and understanding that the political parties are just mental plantation owners by rich white politicians trying to utilize you for your vote. They don't care about you. But again, what do I know? I'm just thinking of white privilege. And now for the coup de gras, which I think that means Mexican fur. I'd like a big fat burrito. Here we go. Well, would you look at that? Man, old Swalwell there. Why does that remind me of old Feinstein? That little Chinese spy in your backyard this entire time and didn't even know it. Yet for years you've been screaming about Trump and the Russians and all the collusion and here you are with the communist China in your back pocket. <laughs> Man, you can't even make this stuff up. You're giving me YouTube content for days. <laughs> Appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at JohnBurke1 and follow me on Twitch at JohnBurke where I stream nightly. Make sure again you click out the links below for our sponsor Big Daddy Unlimited and check out shellshockcbd.com. American made, veteran owned. But yours truly. That's why I'm so chill. <laughs>